So on this video, guys, I'm going to be heading out to San Antonio to view one of our most recent acquisitions. It's an Airbnb. Had to leave early to catch the flight. I'm personally a big fan of early morning flights so I can get to where I'm trying to go and get some shit done when I get there. So had to get on a plane, heading out to go view it, and I also have a handful of other properties I need to go see. So should be a fun trip. Let's do this thing. Let's take a look around. This is our most recent purchase. We're turning this into Airbnb. Guys, look at all the Amazon boxes. Holy smokes. So there's gonna be some stuff we're gonna need to fix. They had a TV here and we're gonna need to get a brand new TV mounted. I mean, you can see the floors, honestly. Probably gonna leave the floors as they are since this is gonna be an Airbnb. The cool thing in this house, a little place for a TV, was they have these built-in bunk beds, which is perfect for our short-term rental because now we turn this room into a one, two, three, four, sleeps four people in here. What I see though, throughout this house, is that we're gonna put some baseboards down, man. Cause I mean, you have these really big chunky ones over here and then you don't have any over here. Hey, that's one way to lock the door. I do like the vibe that we get in here. Another TV to be mounted. So we probably won't do much in here other than clean this out. Ew, smells gross. But all in all, like the kitchen, it's pretty sick. The refrigerator's new and the dishwasher is new, so. Countertop's nice, backsplash nice. Other bedroom back here, you can see there's no baseboards. Interesting, I think we just paint it, sand it, make it flush to the floor, call it a day. Don't spend a bunch of money on that. All in all, we're hoping to spend 12 to 15 grand to get this thing ready. My favorite part about this house is that there's a shed in the backyard. It has like a new metal roof. So this shed is super cool. It also has additional storage over on this side so i really like the shed and this is a whole nother unit rents out for about 850 bucks a month it has been a crazy day guys i've been going since 4 a.m arizona time 6 a.m local here in texas i just went over to the airbnb had to move a bunch of boxes inside the house but it's the first time that i've seen it and i'm super excited about it it has an additional dwelling on the back which makes it an even better cash flow deal. So the more extra strategies you have on any one of these deals, it makes it even better. So this is gonna be a really sweet opportunity. Can't wait to show you guys. Just left the house and we'll be heading over to the store, grab a couple things before I head over to the Airbnb. It's gonna be a busy couple days, but I hope you guys enjoy this. And I can't wait to show you the finished product of the house when we're done. Really nice. So this area in San Antonio is just older homes. So they came in here and redid everything. Looks really solid. So for this one unit, they typically charge about 180 to $200 a night. Bedroom, those are from Home Depot. Those are about $200 for that bedroom. The second bathroom, guys, you'd be surprised how cheap this is. So cheap. And then double bunk beds in the room that I will not be using. Dining room, nice. Probably my favorite. There's where I'm going to be spending my time right here in the living room. All right, I finally made it to the Airbnb. I am freaking exhausted, hair crazy, everything crazy. I'm gonna share with you guys some of the stuff that I got at Best Buy, why I bought it. Some of these products are really cool. We use it in my day-to-day -day workflow. So if you're not creating videos, you're missing out on money. You're missing out on partnerships. You're missing out on business opportunities, all kind of stuff, guys. You should be filming. You don't need anything fancy. This whole video is filmed by my phone. So I'm gonna share with you guys some of this stuff. So first things first, you can be a full-time content creator with just your phone and something like this. These are cool because they can bend, but they can also wrap around holes and stuff like that. So you can use it as a sweet tripod. So, I mean, this was like 45 bucks, probably way overpriced because I bought it at Best Buy. You can probably buy something somewhere online on like Amazon for like 15, 20 bucks, something like that. You can carry content with your freaking phone. All right, it's been a long day. I'm gonna go ahead and call this. Super excited for day two tomorrow. Gotta go view all the properties, but we got a lot to do tomorrow. So we're gonna call it a day. Appreciate you guys for following along day one. We'll see you on day two. Bye.